Hello friends, welcome back to our CSUM classes. Today we'll discuss about part 20 of chapter 1. Friends, in this part we'll discuss about uh, three important topics. That is first, we'll discuss about comprehensive vulnerability assessment in enterprise security. Second, we'll have a look on the understanding insurance as a strategy resource in mitigating risks. And third and last topic we'll discuss about integrating organizational support and assurance in security strategy. So let's have an overview first on first thing that is about the comprehensive vulnerability assessment in enterprise security. Friends, a comprehensive vulnerability assessment in enterprise security means checking all parts of a company's computer system and network to find any weaknesses or holes that hackers could exploit, right? So it is like a thorough health checkup for company's technology to ensure that everything is safe and secure. Similarly, second topic that is about understanding insurance as a strategy resource in mitigating risks. Friends, understanding insurance as a strategy resource in mitigating risks means recognizing that having insurance can help protect a business from potential losses or damage. It is like using insurance as a safety net to cover cost if something goes wrong and helping the companies to manage and reduce the risks. And third topic that is about integrating organizational support and assurance in security strategy. It means making sure that everyone in the company from top manager to regular employees work together to keep the company's information and system secure. It also involves having plans and checks to place to ensure that these security measures are effective and reliable. So friends, with this much of overview, let's jump into the directly into the topic. That is first, we'll discuss about comprehensive vulnerability assessment in enterprise security. Friends, a comprehensive vulnerability assessment in enterprise security involves thoroughly checking a company's computer system and network to find any weaknesses that hackers could exploit. Friends, this process is like a detailed health checkup for a company's technology to ensure everything is safe and secure. First, let's break it down this phrase, right? Like this saying comprehensive. This means thorough and complete. The assessment looks at every part of the company system. Similarly, vulnerability. Vulnerability, it means that a vulnerability is a weakness or a gap in a system that could be exploited by hackers. Assessment means this is a process of evaluating or analyzing something. And enterprise security, this refers to the protection of a computer, information, computer system and network. So by conducting a comprehensive vulnerability assessment, a company can better protect itself against cyber threat, ensuring the safety and security of its digital asset. So let's start the topic first. First, we'll discuss about the introduction to the vulnerability assessment. Friends, in the ever-changing world of cybersecurity, relying solely on technical scan is not enough for effective security planning. So these traditional scans are common, but only provide a partial view of an organization's security. So to get a complete picture, we need to include physical elements like how tasks are done, uh, procedures or practices or legal frameworks. So by looking at these areas, we, uh, we find vulnerabilities that might be missed by technical scans alone, leading to better risk identification and stronger security measures. So this comprehensive approach allow us to develop more effective mitigation strategies and support long term strategic security planning and ultimately resulting in a more robust and secure organization. Moving next, next we'll discuss about some limitations of automated scan. Friends, automated vulnerability scans are a popular tool in enterprise security, offering quick and efficient assessment of an organization system. However, they have a several limitations that can leave critical gap in the security defenses. First, just we'll have an overview. Friends, automated scans are commonly used in enterprise security 
to identify technical vulnerabilities. But they have a several limitations. They often miss the broader context of how issues impact interconnected systems and produce false positive and negatives. And these scans focus mainly on software and hardware, ignoring weaknesses in processes, human behavior and physical security. They also struggle with complex threat and ensuring compliance with all regulations. While useful automated scan need to be part of a broader security strategy that includes human expertise and manual assessments. Moving next, next we'll discuss about focus. Friends, automated scan primarily target software flaws without considering physical and procedural elements, leaving significant gaps in security assessments. They often miss how issues impact interconnected system, produce false positives and negatives, and struggle with complex threat. So by focusing only on technical vulnerabilities, they overlook weaknesses in processes, human behavior, and physical security. So as a result, these scans need to be part of a broader security strategy that includes human expertise and manual assessments to provide a comprehensive security evaluation. Next, impact. Friends, relying solely on automated scan can result in overlooked vulnerabilities, especially in procedures and practices critical for comprehensive security. These scans focus mainly on technical flaws, missing how issues affect interconnected system and ignoring weaknesses in human behavior and physical security. This oversight can leave significant gaps as important vulnerabilities in the way tasks are performed and security practices are implemented may go undetected. So thus automated scan should be part of a broader strategy that includes human expertise and manual assessments for a complete security evaluation. And last about the solution, friends, integrating comprehensive assessments that include physical, legal and the procedural elements can address the shortcomings of automated scans, offering a more robust security strategy. So by going beyond just technical flaws, friends, these assessments considered how issues impact interconnected system and identify weaknesses in processes, human behavior and physical security. And this holistic approach, friends, it ensures that all potential vulnerabilities are detected and mitigated, providing a more complete and effective security evaluation that combines automated scans with human expertise and manual assessments. Moving next, next we'll discuss about expanding the assessment scope that is beyond technology. Friends, expanding the assessment scope, scope uh, beyond technology, it involves integrating physical, legal and procedural elements into security evaluation. Friends, while automated scans focus on technical flaws, a more comprehensive approach considers how issue affect interconnected system and identify weaknesses in processes, human behavior and physical security. So this broader perspective ensures that all potential vulnerabilities are detected and mitigated. And by combining automated scan with human expertise and manual assessments, organizations can develop a more complete and effective security strategy that addresses the full range of risks. First, we'll discuss about physical security control. Friends, physical security controls are things like locks, cameras, and access cards that help to protect buildings and sensitive areas. They are very important for keeping unauthorized people out, but sometimes they don't get enough attention. 
so to make sure these security measures are working properly it is essential to check them regularly just take an example like if you have a security camera system you should make sure that all cameras are functioning and recording as they should and if there are access card used to enter certain areas ensure that only the right people have them and they are not being misused so by keeping a close eye on these controls you can prevent potential security breaches and keep your facility safe from unauthorized access friends regular checks help to catch any issues before they become bigger problem ensuring that your security measures are always up to date and effective next about evaluating procedures friends evaluating procedures means looking at the rules and practices you use to handle security issues so this involves checking if your policies and response plans are current and effective regularly reviewing these procedures friends it ensures that they are ready to handle any security incidents that might come up and this way one can make sure that the response is quick and effective when something goes wrong and that you are always following the best practices to keep everything secure moving next next we'll discuss about the strategy development process friends creating a security strategy is not just about reacting to current threat it is also about strengthening your defenses against long term weaknesses so even if there are not immediate dangers it is important to plan ahead and improve overall security this means doing thorough checks to find and address potential problem before they become serious issues and by including detailed assessment of possible vulnerabilities when developing your strategy you can make smart cost effective upgrades that help your organization to stay secure over time so this friends this proactive approach it ensures that you are prepared for any future challenges and enhances your overall security next assessing process vulnerabilities that is identifying and mitigating risks friends assessing process vulnerabilities means finding weak spot in your system or procedures that could be exploited or cause problems friends it involves looking closely at how things are done and identifying any potential risks so once you have found these weaknesses you need to take steps to fix them or make improvements and this help to prevent problem before they happen and keep your system running smoothly and by addressing these vulnerabilities you can protect your organization from potential threats and ensure better security and efficiency first we'll discuss about challenges friends assessing processes can be tough because they are often complicated and constantly changing so this complexity make it hard to thoroughly evaluate them so they often end up being the least examined part of security even though processes are crucial for overall security their dynamic nature means they require careful and ongoing review to identify and address potential issues effectively next about the impact friends ignoring processes assessment can make organizations easy target for attack that they take advantage of weak procedures and this oversight can lead to serious problems including significant financial losses and damage to the organization's reputations friends regularly reviewing and improving processes is essential to protect against these risks and ensure the organization remain secure next about the improvement friends regular and thorough review of organizational processes help find and fix fix weaknesses before they can be exploited so by continuously assessing how things are done 
you can address potential issues early on and reduce the risk of attack and improving overall security. So this proactive approach ensures that vulnerabilities are managed effectively, keeping the organization safer in the long run. Moving next, next we'll discuss about some key elements of comprehensive assessment. That is components to consider. Let's check it out. First is about the service level agreement. Friends, service level agreement set clear expectations from performance and response times which directly impact how quickly and effectively vulnerabilities are managed and resolved. Friends, they ensure that they are agreed upon standards for addressing issues, helping to keep processes on track and maintain a high level of security. Next about the legal. Friends, Legal and contractual requirements establish the rules for compliance and security standards. These requirements are crucial for a thorough assessment as they ensure that all security practices meet necessary legal and contractual obligations, helping to avoid legal issues and maintain robust security measures. And next about technologies. Friends, evaluating the technologies used throughout an organization is essential for identifying potential vulnerabilities in both software and hardware. So this process involves examining how various technologies are configured and integrated into the organization's system. Let's take an example. For example, friends, we can say that checking software for outdated version or misconfiguration can reveal security gaps that could be exploited by attackers. Similarly, assessing hardware setups ensures that devices are securely, secure and properly protected. And by thoroughly reviewing these technologies, you can pinpoint weaknesses before they become serious issues. And this proactive approach helps to strengthen the organization's overall security posture, ensuring that both software and hardware components are safeguarded against potential threats and are functioning effectively. Moving next, next we'll discuss about enhancing security through comprehensive assessment that is a strategic approach to vulnerabilities. Friends, enhancing security with comprehensive assessment involves a strategic approach to identify and addressing vulnerabilities. First is about proactive. Friends, taking a proactive approach to addressing vulnerabilities means actively seeking out and fixing potential issues before they can be exploited. And by doing so, you can significantly lower the risks of security incidents and breaches. This involves regularly assessing systems updating defenses and implementing preventive measures to stay ahead of potential threats. Friends, being proactive helps to maintain strong security and ensures that your organization is better prepared to handle any challenges that arise. Next about the cost effective. Friends, when developing a security strategy, Exploring cost-effective solutions to address systemic weaknesses can lead to substantial improvements in security. This means finding affordable ways to enhance your defenses without overspending. So by prioritizing budget-friendly measures that still effectively address vulnerabilities, you can achieve stronger security while managing costs effectively. So this approach ensures that you are making the most of your resources and investing wisely in long-term security enhancement. Next is about the opportunities. Friends, developing a security strategy is a key opportunity to address vulnerabilities thoroughly and improve overall security. It allows you to identify and fix weaknesses in a structured way strengthening the organization's defenses. So by taking this comprehensive approach, 
you can enhance your security posture and better protect against potential threat. Moving next, next we'll talk about conclusion and some takeaways. Friends, in conclusion, we can say that moving beyond just technical vulnerability assessments to include physical, procedural and legal elements can greatly improve an organization's security. A comprehensive approach allow you to identify and address a broader range of risks, right? So by being proactive and strategic, you can effectively manage and mitigate potential threat. It is crucial to remember that a strong security strategy must continuously adapt to keep up with new and evolving threat. And this ongoing evolution is key to maintaining a resilient and effective security posture. So friends, this is the end of the first part, first topic. Let's discuss the second part that is second topic. Understanding insurance as a strategy resource in mitigating risks. Friends, insurance can be a valuable resources in mitigating risks by providing financial protection against potential losses. So friends, when incorporated into a broader risk management strategy, insurance help organizations to manage the financial impact of unforeseen events such as security breaches, natural disasters or other liabilities. Friends, it is important to choose policies that align with the specific risks an organization faces, ensuring that coverage is adequate for potential threats. Friends, while insurance does not prevent risks, it can reduce the financial burden associated with them and support recovery efforts making it a key component in a comprehensive risk management strategy. So let's start the topic. First we'll about the introduction about our insurance strategy workshop. Friends in this whole video we'll explore how insurance can be a key tool in managing and reducing risks. We'll also focus on understanding which type of risks are best covered by insurance such as rare but impactful events like natural disaster, legal liabilities and operational disruption. By the end of this workshop, friends, we will have valuable insight into leveraging insurance to strengthen your risk management strategy. So let's jump and let's start the topic. First, we'll discuss about the type of the risks suitable for the insurance. Friends, insurance is particularly useful for managing risks that can have significant financial impact and are hard to predict. So key insurable risks include natural disaster like floods and earthquakes, legal liabilities such as product or professional liability claim, operational interruption from machinery breakdown, cyber risks like data breaches and employee injuries resting in compensation claims. So by identifying these type of risks, organization can choose appropriate insurance policies to mitigate financial losses and ensure businesses continuity. In this, the first point we'll discuss about natural disaster. Friends, natural disasters such as flood and hurricanes are unpredictable and can cause severe damage. In this, insurance help to manage the financial impact of these events by covering repair costs, property damage and other related expenses. So having insurance in place can significantly reduce the financial burden and support recovery efforts following such monumental disruption. Next operational risks. Friends operational risks such as fires or severe business interruptions can severely disrupt and even cripple your operations. Insurance is crucial for these situations as it helps to cover the cost of repair, lost income and other expenses that arise from such interruption. And by having insurance, you can better manage the financial impact and quickly recover 
from significant operational setbacks. Next, about the legal liabilities. Friends, legal liabilities such as liability lawsuit can pose a serious threat to the company's survival. Friends, insurance offer a safety net by covering legal costs, settlement and damages helping to protect the businesses from potentially devastating financial impact. So this coverage, it ensures that companies are better equipped to handle unexpected legal challenges and continue their operation with greater security. And next point about the theft and fraud. Friends, theft and fraud such as employee embezzlement can seriously impact a company finances and integrity. So friends, fidelity bonds are especially designed to protect against these issues by covering losses from fraudulent activities or theft by employees. And this type of insurance help to safeguard the enterprise's financial health and maintain trust in its operations. Moving next, next we'll discuss about exploring insurance types. Friends, insurance offer the various type of address different need with key type of businesses being first party, third party and fidelity insurance. Friends, third party, first party insurance covers direct losses, business interruption and recovery cost, providing comprehensive protection for your own assets. Similarly, third party insurance is crucial for covering liabilities to others, including legal defenses and damage claim up to a certain limit. And last about the fidelity or bond insurance, it safeguard against internal risks such as employee theft or embezzlement, helping to protect the company's financial health and integrity. So let's check it out and we'll dis understand more in deeper context. Next friends, next we'll discuss about key insurance term explained. Understanding the key insurance vocabulary. First, we'll discuss about, understand about first party insurance. Friends, first party insurance covered damages to the insured party own property, including losses from businesses, interruption and recovery cost. And this type of insurance helped to protect your asset by reimbursing you for direct damage and expenses related to repairing or replacing property and continuing operations after an incident. Similarly, third party, third party insurance focuses on liability coverage, addressing claims made by others for injuries or damages caused by your businesses. It helps to cover legal costs, settlement and damage claims, protecting your company from financial responsibilities for accidents or harm that affect other people. Moving next, next we'll discuss about the benefits of the insurance in the risk strategy. Friends, insurance plays a crucial role, role in the risk strategy by supporting businesses continuity in several key ways. It provides financial protection against unexpected events like natural disaster, legal claim and operational disruptions, helping to mitigate the impact on your businesses. So by covering repair costs, legal expenses and lost income, insurance ensures that your businesses can recover and resume operations more swiftly. So additionally, having the insurance in place enhance your organization's resilience, allowing you to focus on growth and development rather than worrying about potential financial setbacks. So let's check it out one by one. First, we'll discuss about financial stability. Friends, insurance ensures financial compensation which help to maintain operational stability after unforeseen events. So by covering costs related to damage, legal claim and businesses interruption, insurance provides a safety net that allow your businesses 
to recover and continue operations smoothly. This financial support helps to prevent significant disruptions that ensures that your organization remains stable even in the face of unexpected challenges. Next, about the risk management. Friends, insurance is a key component of a risk management, enabling companies to allocate resources more efficiently. So by covering potential losses and liabilities, insurance help businesses to manage financial risks and focus their resources on growth and development rather than on mitigating unforeseen events. So this strategic use of insurance enhances overall risk management and support a more balanced and effective approach to handling and potential challenges. Next about the legal compliance. Friends, certain type of insurances are legally required. Ensuring that businesses comply with the regulations and avoid legal penalties. So these mandatory insurance such as workers' compensation or liability coverage help businesses meet legal obligation and demonstrate that they are managing risks responsibly. So staying compliant with these requirements not only protect the businesses from legal issues but also contribute to a safer and more secure working environment. Moving next, let's check out some case studies that is real world examples for effective insurance use. Case 1 Friends, in case 1, a tech firm faced a major fire that could have halted their operation. However, because they had a comprehensive insurance coverage, they were able to quickly recover. The insurance helped cover repair cost and business interruption, allowing them to resume operations within weeks. So this quick recovery was made possible by financial support provided by their insurance demonstrating its critical role in managing and mitigating the impact of unforeseen events. Moving case to in the case to friends, a retailer experienced financial distress due to embezzlement by an employee. Thankfully, they had fidelity bonds in place, which provided crucial financial restitution. This insurance covered the losses from the theft, helping the retailer recover from the financial blow and maintain business operations. Friends, the fidelity bond proved essential in protecting the company's financial health and stability, highlighting the importance of having safeguard against internal risks. And case study number three, which states that a, a manufacturing company faced significant damage from a natural disaster. So thanks to their insurance policy, they received financial support to cover repair and rebuilding costs. So this assistance allowed them to rebuild swiftly and resume normal operations much faster than they would have without the insurance. The policy support was crucial in managing the financial impact of the disaster and ensuring a quick recovery for the company. Friends, next we'll understand and discuss about choosing the right insurance for the businesses that is factors to be considered first about the risk assessment friends risk assessment involves evaluating the potential risks your businesses might face to determine the most suitable type of insurance coverage start by identifying risks such as property damage legal liabilities cyber threat and operational interruption Assess how these risks could impact your businesses financially and operationally. And based on this evaluation, friends, choose insurance policy that provide the best protection against these specific risks. Ensuring that your coverage aligns with your business's unique needs and vulnerabilities. Next about the coverage limits. 
फ्रेंड्स कवरेज लिमिट शुड बी डिटरमिन बेस्ड ऑन द पोटेंशियल फाइनेंशियल इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द रिस्क योर बिजनेस फेसिस सो फ्रेंड्स असेस द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल लॉसेस फ्रॉम वेरियस रिस्क सच एज प्रॉपर्टी डैमेज लीगल क्लेम और बिजनेस इंटरप्शन एंश्योर दैट योर इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसीज कवर लिमिट्स आर हाई एनफ टू कवर दिस पोटेंशियल लॉसेस प्रोवाइडिंग एडिक्वेट प्रोटेक्शन विदाउट लिविंग यू एक्सपोज टू सिग्निफिकेंट आउट ऑफ पॉकेट एक्सपेंसिस फ्रेंड्स प्रॉपरली अलाइंस कवरेज लिमिट्स हेल्प टू सेफ गार्ड योर बिजनेसिस फ्रॉम अ फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रेन इन द इवेंट ऑफ द क्लेम नेक्स्ट अबाउट द इंश्योरेंस कॉस्ट फ्रेंड्स वाइल सिलेक्टिंग इंश्योरेंस कंपेयर कॉस्ट वर्सेज बेनिफिट टू एंश्योर यू टू गेट वैल्यू फॉर मनी evaluate the premium deductible and coverage limits of different policies choose a plan that offer comprehensive protection for your business's specific risks while keeping premium affordable weigh the potential benefit of the coverage against cost to ensure that the insurance provide adequate protection without overburdening your budget this approach help to find a balanced policy that offer a right level of coverage at a reasonable price next few terms and conditions friends understanding the policy's terms and conditions is crucial to ensure you have a comprehensive coverage without unexpected exclusion friends carefully review the policy to identify what is included and any specific exclusion or limitations pay attention to details like coverage limits deductible and any conditions that must be met for claims to be valid and by thoroughly understanding these terms you can avoid surprises and ensure the insurance policy meet your business's need effectively moving next next we'll discuss about leveraging insurance in the strategic planning friends integrate insurance into the strategic planning by aligning it with your business's key risks such as property damage or legal liabilities friends choose policies that support your goal and provide financial protection use insurance to enhance resilience and manage risks ensuring it align with your long term strategies and operational needs regularly review and adjust coverage to match evolving risks and businesses objectives helping to safeguard your business's stability and future growth so let's start first we'll discuss about planning friends incorporate insurance into your business continuity plan to minimize interruption it ensure that your insurance covers key risks and support your recovery strategy and this integration help to protect against financial setbacks allowing your businesses to maintain operations and quickly recover from disruption and by aligning insurance with your continuity plan you ensure that you are prepared for unexpected events that can continue to operate smoothly next about the implementation friends regularly review and adjust your insurance policies to keep them aligned with your evolving business's need and risks and this ensures that your coverage remains effective and up to date as your business's grows and changes so friends by staying proactive you can address new risks and maintain adequate protection helping to safeguard your businesses against potential disruption and challenges moving next next we'll discuss about the third topic that is about integrating organizational support and assurance in security strategy friends integrating organizational support and assurance into your security strategy it involves ensuring that all level of organizations are committed to and actively involved in security efforts this means securing buy in from leadership 
fostering a security conscious culture among employees and establishing clear communication channel for security policies and procedures friends assurance involves regularly auditing and evaluating security practices to confirm they meet the established standards and effectively address the potential risks so by aligning organizational support and assurance with your security strategy you strengthen overall security and resilience let's start first we'll discuss about some key organizational players in the pillars of the security assurance friends key organizational players in the security assurance include leadership who set the strategic direction and allocate resources it and security team who implement and manage the security measures compliance officer who ensures adherence to the regulation employees who follow security practices and report issues and external auditors or consultant who provide independent assessment so friends together these players create a comprehensive security framework ensuring robust protection and effective management of security risks first we'll discuss about legal team friends a legal team plays a crucial role in security assurance by overseeing regulatory requirements and ensuring that security measures comply with the legal standards they interpret and apply laws and regulations related to the data protection privacy and cyber security which is especially important for businesses operating internationally so friends by ensuring that security practices meet this legal requirement the legal team help to avoid potential legal issues fines and reputational damage and their work is vital for maintaining compliance managing risks and supporting the organization's overall security strategy moving next next we'll discuss about the compliance team friends the compliance team ensures that all security strategies align with the both internal policies and external regulatory requirement they act as a safeguard by verifying that security practices meet established standards and legal obligations and this help to protect the organization from potential legal issues and ensure that all security measures are properly implemented and maintained supporting overall risk management and organizational integrity third about the audit functions friends the audit functions evaluate the effectiveness of security measures by identifying risks and areas for improvement regular audits are essential for continuous enhancement of security practices ensuring that controls are working as intended and helping to pinpoint weaknesses or gaps so this ongoing assessment support the organization in refining its security strategy adapting to the new threat and maintaining a robust protection against potential risks and last is about the hr friends hr is responsible for enforcing security policies among employees and managing security training program friends they play a key role in shaping and maintaining a strong security culture by ensuring that staff understand and adhere to the security practices friends hr effort help to integrate security awareness into everyday operations reducing risks and fostering a security conscious environment across the organization moving next next we'll discuss about supporting departments that is beyond traditional security roles friends supporting departments enhances security beyond traditional roles by contributing specialized expertise such as finance uh, let's take an example like finance manages security budgets and monitor for financial anomalies similarly legal ensures compliance with regulation and handles the legal issues 
so friends let's check it out one by one first we'll discuss about the procurement friends procurement is responsible for evaluating and securing third party vendors ensuring they meet security standards and this role is critical for supply chain security as it helps to mitigate risks associated with external partners by verifying their compliance with established security requirements and by carefully selecting and monitoring vendors procurement of safeguard the organization from potential vulnerabilities and ensure that all parts of the supply chain adhere to the security protocol next about the insurance friends insurance assesses risks and provide coverage against security breaches playing a vital role in financial resilience so by offering protection against financial losses from incidents like cyber attack or data breaches insurance helps to mitigate the financial impact of security threat and this coverage ensures that organization can recover more swiftly and maintain stability in the face of unforeseen security challenges moving next next we'll discuss about some challenges of integration friends a common challenge in the enterprise is the lack of integration among assurance functions which can lead to operational inefficiency and security gaps friends the goal is to develop a security strategy that eliminates duplicated effort and ensure that various assurance activities complement each other friends achieving this requires a coordinated approach promoting collaboration and alignment across department to create a unified security strategy and this integration help to streamline processes reduce redundancies and strengthen overall security effectiveness moving next next we'll discuss about the some key approaches to the seamless operation first is about alignment friends it is important for strategies to match the goals of organization so friends when everyone is on the same page it help to avoid confusion and ensure that all part of the organizations work well together so if strategies and goals don't align teams might end up working against each other which can cause problem so by making sure everything fits together the organization can operate smoothly and achieve its objective more effi- uh, effectively next about the collaboration that is collaboration between different departments is a key it help to fill in missing pieces and allow a team to share their knowledge this leads to a more complete understanding of security so friends when people work together across organizations they can combine their expertise and perspective to create a stronger more comprehensive security approaches moving next next we'll discuss about duplication friends it is important to find and remove any repeated work within the organization so friends when teams do the, the same task over and over it wastes the time and resources so by identifying these duplication we can simplify processes and make everything run smoothly this help the organization operate more efficiently and allow everyone to focus on what really matters improving overall productivity moving next next is about the operational excellence that is realizing a cohesive strategy friends achieving the operational excellence require a cohesive strategy that align with the organizational goal encourage interdepartmental collaboration and eliminate duplicated effort so friends by streamlining processes and enhancing communication organization can improve efficiency and productivity so friends emphasizing digitalization and leveraging technologies like ai can further refine the operations so let's check out one by one first we'll discuss about the gap analysis 
फ्रेंड्स गैप एनालिसिस इन्वॉल्व्स अ डिटेल्ड इवेल्युएशन ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन्स ऑपरेशनल एंड सिक्योरिटी फ्रेमवर्क टू आइडेंटिफाई वलरेबिलिटीज एंड एरियाज फॉर इम्प्रूवमेंट सो दिस प्रोसेस असेस द करेंट सिक्योरिटी पोस्चर अगेंस्ट इस्टैब्लिश स्टैंडर्ड्स सच एज आई एस ओ और एन आई एस टी टू पिन पॉइंट गैप्स दैट कुड एक्सपोज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू रिस्क सो बाई कंडक्टिंग थॉरो असेसमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन प्राइटाइज दीज गैप्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर पोटेंशियल इम्पैक्ट एंड डेवलप एक्शन प्लान टू अड्रेस दैम अल्टीमेटली क्लोजिंग दीज गैप्स एनहांसेज ओवरऑल सिक्योरिटी एंड ऑपरेशनल एफिशियंसी रिड्यूसिंग द लाइवलीहुड ऑफ साइबर थ्रेट एंड ब्रिचेस Next about the action plan friends to create effectively security plan for each department organization should start by forming a security committee with representative from all the areas so this team will define specific responsibilities and develop an action plan next they should meet with department heads to discuss security needs and necessary training and based on this discussion friends the committee can make updates to the security system and create a contingency plan for emergencies it is also important to hold meetings with employees and contractors to explain the security procedures and regularly review of each department security performance will help to improve these plans over time next about the continuous monitoring friends to ensure all departments follow the security strategy organizations should implement regular checks and this includes scheduling routine audits and inspection to find any weaknesses in the security friends spot checks and unannounced drills can test how well security protocols work so analyzing incident reports help to identify areas for improvement monitoring access logs and security metrics allow organizations to measure effectively additionally creating a way for employees to report concern anonymously can enhance the security and by continuously reviewing and updating security measures organizations can better protect themselves against the risks moving next next we'll discuss about the feedback loop friends to create a continuous feedback loop among department use real time communication tools like messaging app to encourage open dialogue friends involve employees by regularly gathering their feedback through survey and check-ins and make sure to analyze this input for trends provide two way feedback where managers also share insight with the employees and foster a culture of continuous learning and improvement and start with the pilot program to test the process friends this approach help to everyone to feel heard and support ongoing growth and adaptability let's check out some case studies first that is learning from the real world application first case study friends a notable case study involves a multinational telecommunication company that successfully integrated its assurance function and leading to a 40% reduction in the security incidents friends a company faced challenges with compliance and a lack of standardized security framework across its global operation and by collaborating with uh, deloitte they develop a comprehensive governance risk and compliance framework and this include identifying regulatory requirements conducting assessment to find gaps and implementing a unified compliance strategy and as a result the organization significantly improved its security posture and reduced the incidents demonstrating the effectiveness of an integrated approach to assurance functions in this the lesson learned friends a case study of multinational company that integrated its assurance function and reduced security incidents by 40% highlight two key lessons first 
strong leadership commitment is crucial. It means when executive prioritize security, it creates a culture of accountability and ensure necessary resources are allocated. And second, learning about clear communication channel are valuable throughout the integration process. Friends, regular transparent dialogue with the stakeholders builds trust, maintain momentum and garner support for the initiative. So by prioritizing leadership and communication, organizations can replicate this success and enhance their security posture. Next about the best practices. Friends, to improve the collaboration between departments, organizations can adopt several best practices. First, holding regular interdepartmental meetings help team to share updates, align on the goals and discuss projects. And these meetings should have a clear agenda and involve stakeholders. Second, using an integrated security dashboard allow you everyone to see security metrics and track progress, promoting teamwork. So additionally, friends, fostering a culture of transparency, encouraging feedback and celebrating team achievement can further enhance collaboration. And by implementing these strategies, Organization can work better together and achieve greater success. Moving next, next we'll discuss about some implementing an integrated approach. First is about the plan. Friends, to implement an integrated approach to the security and assurance organization should start with a comprehensive audit of existing functions. This involves defining the audit scope, assembling a cross-functioning team, and gathering relevant documentation. So friends, engaging employees through interviews and survey will help to identify challenges and gaps. So the data collected should be analyzed to assess current practices and benchmark against industry standards. And finally, the findings should be reported with actionable recommendation leading to a clear action plan for improvement and integration. Moving next, next we'll discuss about to execute. Friends, to execute the integration plan effectively, organizations should establish clear timelines and assign responsibilities to the team members. So regular progress monitoring through check-ins and dashboard help to identify challenges early. And maintaining open communication with stakeholders foster collaboration and address concerns promptly. The plan should also have a built-in flexibility to adapt to the unexpected changes. And finally, a culture of continuous improvement driven by the stakeholder feedback and performance analysis ensures that integrated approach remain relevant and effective over time. Friends, here we come to the end of this part, that is part 20 of chapter 1. Friends, please do like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching and stay tuned. Thank you.